the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 325 Galatians 4-6 They are the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Paul taught the Galatians church to bear fruits of the Holy Spirit with the true freedom obtained through faith while serving one another lovingly. First point. Paul used the parable of the guardian and the manager to teach about the role of the laws. Paul taught the Galatians church that the laws acted like the guardian and the manager up until God's decided moment. The reason God made them keep the laws was in order to contextualize Jesus Christ. Thus, God sent His only Son, Jesus Christ, to fulfill the laws and the prophets, and ultimately, in order to enable all humans to call God our Father. Paul therefore worried for those who voluntarily became servant of the laws. The gospel of Jesus was not there to distinguish the people, but to unify the people. However, if the laws were used to condemn others, then inevitably it would be used to separate rather than unify. Paul stressed that it was Jesus' will to unify the people. Second point, Paul taught about the difference of the laws and the gospel through Abraham's family story. Paul compared the laws and the gospel in order to teach the members of the Galatians church. In order to do so, Paul firstly reported to the laws in the story of Ishmael, who was born from Hagar. Secondly, he referred to the story of the laws involved with Isaac, who was born from Sarah. Thirdly, Paul taught that those people who only stressed the laws and persecuted those who preached the gospel would not be able to gain salvation. In the Old Testament, it is recorded that Abraham's son Isaac was given Abraham's covenant to continue as he was the one who kept his faith in God. As such, Paul used the example of Sarah and Hagar to explain how the Jews could gain their freedom through faith. In other words, the Jews had already received the freedom through being the descendants of Abraham. Paul earnestly convinced the members of the Galatians church to free themselves from being servants of the laws. Third point. In Galatians, Paul proclaimed the freedom of Christians. Paul taught the members of the Galatians church about how Christians were to live and act. Paul's main advice was to be free and not to become slaves of and for the law. Firstly, what Paul meant by freeing oneself from the law was to stop obsessing over the matter of circumcision. Secondly, Paul declared judgment against those who only preached the laws. Thirdly, he advised to live with those who enforced only the laws from their community. And now, Paul proclaimed the freedom of Christians. Paul said that Christians were to find freedom in Jesus Christ. Paul compared the slavery and freedom and how Christians were to voluntarily serve others with the freedom they received from Jesus Christ. Fourth point, Paul taught that there are nine fruits in the Holy Spirit. Paul taught the members of the Galatians church to follow the Holy Spirit and eat from its fruit. Those who only followed the laws would end up living according to their physical needs. Paul warned that such people would not be able to enjoy the kingdom of God. Paul then referred to the nine fruits of the Holy Spirit that was in the gospel. Thus, Paul advised the members of the Galatians church to follow the Holy Spirit. 
Fifth point, Paul taught the church members not to be downcast when the fruit of a good deed did not appear right away. Paul taught the Galatians church to carry each other's burdens. He also taught them to carry out their tasks as best as they could and to be responsible. Paul furthermore taught them to help those who were traveling to preach Jesus' gospel. In other words, Paul told them not to be downcast when they could not see the results of their work immediately. Paul taught them to not be seduced by the laws. Paul knew the ways of the law keepers extremely well, that they did not practice by heart but only on the surface. Paul thus proclaimed that he only boasted of Jesus' cross. Paul emphasized that it was not by circumcision that humans became renewed, but only through the faith in Jesus Christ. Because of this, Paul explained that he carried the mark of Jesus on him. Only through the gospel can humans gain eternal life. Paul told the members of the Galatians church that believing in this was God's grace. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought-after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.